Yo guys, welcome back to our video, but today we're going to be previewing the Manchester United vs Norwich City game FA Cup is finally back as well, bro I'm glad that all the competitions are slowly coming back. So this is a massive game So we're going to be previewing the game We're going to be talking about Norwich and we're also going to be predicting the starting 11 for Man United The starting 11 is going to be pretty interesting because it is going to be switched up just because it is an FA Cup game So it's going to be switched up and all that. So yeah, uh, just before we get into it Make sure you guys hit like button subscribe to the channel and let's get straight into it, bro Let's quickly talk about Man United and Norwich um, when when they have verse and when they have Versus Man United have been way way better. We versed them once at the start of the season, ended 3 1, and then we versed them again. I think that ended 4 0 at Old Trafford, bro. So we have a very, very good record against North City. We play an unbelievable football against North for some reason, man. For some reason, we do. And now we have Paul Pogba, we have Bruno Fernandes, we have Anthony Marshall, we have um, Rashford. Even though I, I think most of them won't be playing, I think this is probably going to be a pretty convincing win for us. We're going to get to the prediction later on in the video. Oh uh, yeah, so now we're going to be talking about the starting 11, my predicted starting 11 for Man United. There's going to be a lot of changes, bro, for obvious reasons. So yeah, let's start in goal. It's going to be Romero. I think that's kind of an obvious one. Romero has started, I'm pretty sure, all our FA Cup games and League Cup games as well. So it's a pretty obvious one. At uh, right back, we got Diego Dolot. I think one has played so so many games for us bro like so many even before the break we had hopefully i'm pretty sure diego Dula should be fit he should be fit bro if he's not fit i'll be playing ethan led i know ethan led and another up and coming fullback we've got in the academy bro so i wouldn't mind any of them starting but i am going to go with diego Dula. if he's injured ethan led at right back left back williams i mean pretty straightforward that's kind of like an obvious one bro yeah Center back is going to be Bailey. I think that's kind of obvious as well because he hasn't been starting when he should be. I think he should be starting, in my opinion, him and Maguire are best center backs. Next to him, Maguire. Um, the reason why I'm playing Maguire and not resting him is because Phil Jones is injured. And we don't really have any other center backs after that. Rojo got lined out. Smalling hasn't been here the whole season. I think Mengi, we, maybe we might see Menji. Mengi, I don't know how to say his name properly. Maybe, but I think just because it is a quarterfinal game. We might not see him, so that's why I might be going with Maguire. I think I have a feeling he might play Maguire, but he's a captain. But I wouldn't be surprised if he arrests him. Center mid's gonna be uh, McTominay and Fred. They were starting two center mids a few months ago. Now we've got Pogba, Matic, Bruno. They're most likely not gonna be starting anymore. It looks like Matic and uh, Paul Pogba and Bruno Fernandez. It looks like that's gonna be our midfield with three. But yeah, Fred has had an unbelievable season. McTominay just signed a contract. He's had a very, very good season as well. We're gonna go to the attack right now. Attack mid, we got Pereira. A lot of people don't like this guy. Not the biggest fan of him as well, but he's not that bad, bro. I think it's between him and Lingard. We haven't. I don't think we've seen Lingard play, bro. Um, so that's the only reason I'm going with Pereira. If I'm being honest with you, bro. But yeah, I think it's either him or Lingard, bro. Uh, right wing, we got Juan Mata. He's most likely gonna be the. He's gonna start right wing. He's gonna drift in. You already know them. Um, them. I'd love him to play Cam. To be honest, I'd rather have him playing attacking mid than Pereira right wing. I'd rather have that. I should have put that, bro. But uh, yeah, I think Mata right wing. Yeah, he hasn't been starting for us, obviously. I don't think he should be starting either way. But yeah, I think we might see Greenwood, maybe. Uh, but yeah, left wing, we got Dan James. I think Dan James is going to start a left wing for us. Again, he's been bench. Basically, most of our bench players are going to be playing this game. And uh, yeah, man, a few months ago, Dan James, Pereira, Fred, McTominay, they used to all start for us. Now we've improved, but I'm not gonna lie, we have improved. Um, and then Shaka, we got a guy that's kind of an obvious one, bro. Even though my shot just got a hat trick, we are gonna be resting him. And uh, yeah, man, that's about it. Quickly, let's talk about Norwich. Now, they've lost their two games they have played this season. One was against Southampton, which they lost 3 0, and the other one was against Everton, which they lost 1 0, bro. Both at home, even though there's no fans. Uh, but yeah, bro, it's gonna be a tough, tough game for Norwich. They don't have a good record against Main United as well. So now let's go to my prediction. My prediction for the game is a 3 0, or you know what? I'm going 2 0. 2 0 Main United. I think um, the reason why I predicted 2 0, not 3 0, was just because. Our starters aren't going to be playing, so it's going to be you no know, disrespect to players like Mata, um, Dan James, Igala, and that. I just did obviously not as good as Pogba, Bruno, Marshall, Rashford, Greenwood. Um, even though I, yeah, no, I don't think Greenwood's going to start. I think Greenwood right now is going to be starting for us each week and week out until we get our right winger, hopefully, central. But, but yeah, and I'm going to go with Igala and Juan Mata. I'm going to go with Mata with the goal. I'm going with Mata, Igalo, um, Igalo, Hera, and Mata penalty. I'm just going to go with that, bro. But yeah, put down in the comments down below your predictions on the game. Who do you guys think will go through to the semi-finals? I'm pretty sure this is the quarter-finals, bro. So put it down in the comments down below. But yeah, Norwich do have a few good plays. Like Todd Cantwell, I'm a big fan of him. Alright, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys hit like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll charge 5k subs. If you guys are already made, hit the subscribe button, bro. Thank you guys for watching. And peace.